Some people dream of just packing up their lives and traveling. Well, one Lansing family is doing just that. They are taking on a 50 state challenge while teaching their kids all about different cultures. Here's a look as they live out loud and take on life on the road. You only get one shot at life, so gotta live it. The Hall family is living the dream and taking the journey of a lifetime. They quit their jobs, sold their house in Lansing last year, and have been documenting their journey as they travel across the country with their RV. Now we're all the way on state 18, and we're in Utah. So the first date was Tennessee, and then we went to Georgia, to Florida, to Alabama, <laughs> to Mississippi, to Arkansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Oklahoma Texas, <laughs> New Mexico, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Utah, and then Nevada, California, All Oregon, California. Yeah, we did the whole coast and we, then the yeah, whole the coast of Oregon, coast. Washington, Montana, Idaho. And we're back just for a quick stay in Utah before we head over to Wyoming. As an international couple, Chris is from England and Morgan is from Lansing. They have always valued travel. It's been a major part of our relationship and we loved the different perspectives that we would gain. We went to new places and learned about new cultures. They had a reminder how precious life is when Chris had a health scare and saw an opportunity when the pandemic hit. And a lot of our work became online work that we could give that gift to our children and really open their eyes to the beauty in the world and all the diverse opportunities that are out there. And they ran with it. We didn't own an RV before. We had knew absolutely nothing about <laughs> camping. And we bought one and renovated it. And with very little practice, we drove all the way into the mountains of First Gatlinburg, time. Tennessee and figured it out on the go. They've been working remotely with their own business and their sons Jude and Jonah have been in school remotely. They say they've been able to give their kids opportunities that open their hearts and minds and help them learn stuff that's not in a textbook. When we were in Arizona, we actually connected with a Navajo family and they agreed to swap tiny homes with us. They live on a reservation and it was so cool because they got to see the different way of life. We were treated to a Navajo lunch and Navajo tacos, Navajo yeah. tacos which are like our new, all of our new so favorite good. thing. <laughs> and we were able to see the hard work that they put into living in the reservation. And the kids really appreciate things now, like having a bathroom in our RV. You know, we had to walk quite a long way to their outhouse. But life on the road hasn't been all peaches and cream. From being stranded in Texas and having to get a new truck. We had a budget of $10,000, which isn't a lot. We actually- <laughs> For another truck. For another truck, because that's all we could sell our truck for, pretty much for parts at that point. To their window being busted by their RV. To suffering, along with the rest of us, from rising gas prices. Our biggest cost is definitely the fuel. So when we took off, we took off in a diesel truck. And I remember <laughs> diesel was about 315 when we left, which was, you know, that's a good price for diesel. And now we're in a gas truck because we had to get a new truck. And I think just yesterday I paid $5.29 for a liter. But they have been positive about their journey, staying in budget-friendly places, getting creative, and just going with the flow. As they make their way back to this side of the country, they plan to make Michigan state number 25 and are hoping to visit all 50 states by the new year. I would love people just to know that it's possible. We're, we have a very tight budget and we're still able to do it. And it's such a big world out there that it's just so such a great gift for our children, at least, to be able to explore it. For Fox 47 News, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Tiana Jenkins.